Anthony Kurt, age 11 at the time, was shot dead on March 11, 2021. Two houses from where he resided when two males, armed with handguns, invaded the property belonging to a 44-year-old businesswoman to carry out a robbery. Last week, the police arrested, charged and remanded 27-year-old Shem King for the crime. But the mother of his two children, Candace Bulo, and her sister Faustina Barry believe that police investigators have made a major mistake in charging him. Bulu and Wednesday recounted the March 11, 2021 incident. She said she was at home two houses away from where the murder took place while King, a construction worker, was at work. Bulu said she was the one who the boy's mother ran to for help and she was also the person who went into the house and discovered him lying dead. She said up until police showed up at her door last week, she never heard of King's involvement in the crime. The sisters claimed that initially the police said they were arresting King for robbery, but the following day it was made clear that it was in connection to the murder. The arrest was made in the wee hours of the morning. The sisters said ranks without identification badges and without a search warrant walked into their homes and took sleeping King out of his bed. When I come on the picky up the night when I ask the police, when I come on the knock on the door, I open for them because I know me and no thief man. You understand? So I open for them to say the one search, I tell them they could search, you understand? I don't come with no warrant, nothing. Good. I give them your soon that when me by end up waking up stupid because it, if they come, he walk later the day. They come home like after eight from work the night. When he come home from work, he end up come bed and he eat and he go in the bed. But when he air the nights now and he get up and he come outside, the CID um the CID one was um he he we looking for arrest this man. See sir officer arrest me for what? What you do? He said, I'm robbery and harm. Brulu said the police have no evidence to tie King to the crime and rejected claims that he was caught on camera and his name was given to the police by an informant. Brulu said she spoke with both parents of the murdered child who denied knowledge of the claims. Now I saying, if this woman know that my child father's name was calling in this incident, she could have come to me. I would have taken him to the station because he's not a thief. He never go in no police story and no robbery in the Czech Island station. He never done no story with no thief and nothing. He's got to work every day. You understand? Barry, on the other hand, said that while she respects and supports the police investigation, the information provided to them is false. She said she was naked in her home when she heard banging on her bedroom door and moments later came face to face with the police rank in her house who said he was looking for drugs and ammunition. But he later apologized. They could have deal with the thing, deal with the matter differently. You understand me? God never knows that my brother -law wasn't home that day. Me brother -law innocent. This old he street would tell you that me brother -law, that Nobody was working. Me. This old street. The you old street. From the top to the bottom. He don't stop. Anybody but you me. see, he two chair on them. He don't play with the two chair on them. The five of them, he don't play with them. The police force has not released any information on the arrest and charging of King in relation to the murder. The 16-year-old who was charged six months ago remains in remand at the Sophia Juvenile Holding Center. Kurt was in the upper flat of the house located at Seafield Sophia when the masked men approached the shop owner and his mother in the bottom flat and held them at gunpoint. The suspects then ordered the two women to the upper flat of the house when Kurt exited a bedroom and was shot by one of the bandits in his upper shoulder. He attended the St. Ambrose Primary School. His family said he had a bright future ahead of him and had plans of becoming a doctor. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.